of HIV infections after vampire facials in New Mexico is raising a lot of questions and red flags about the trendy skincare treatment. So joining us today is Dr. Paul Stanislaw, facial plastic surgeon in Avon. And you're going to walk us through exactly what we need to do if people are still going to go and get these procedures done, how to safeguard ourselves, right? Correct. So if you're going to have microneedling with PRP or platelet-rich plasma, which is the trade, the fancy name is the vampire sure. facial, um, you really want to want to go to uh, a medical facility where you have uh, physicians, you have nurses who are all trained in sterile technique and sterile procedures where they can process the, those materials safely and not contaminate them. The problem is because there's no real body governing who is doing these procedures and who is not. Well, technically there are laws that define that, but the states are not, they don't have the resources to enforce them. So they're not able to check. Well, correct. So until something else, some, until something, something bad happens. Something like this happens and then they're going to crack down, but correct. who knows where else this is happening. Well, yeah. For those who aren't quite familiar with exactly what the vampire facial is, can you explain it a little bit better? Okay, so microneedling is basically a machine that has little needles on it and it oscillates very quickly and it, puts, it punches little holes in your skin. So it's, it's poking holes, we see that on the right. Cr so, those, the, so all those little holes, a little bit of blood comes through there. Mm -hmm. So that's not the, the vampire part of it. Right. What they do is they draw blood as if you're having blood drawn just for a beforehand. lab test beforehand. They separate the blood from the uh, platelets and the platelet-rich plasma, and they separate that. And then after they've done the microneedling, they apply that plasma to the skin. Mm -hmm. And that theoretically is to uh, aid in healing and make a better result. However, there are really no vigorous scientific studies that prove that that actually helps. So a lot of the pictures that people are seeing online and in social media, the red, the blood on their faces, their own blood from the microneedling, not the PRP. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. All right, so go in a little bit more about all the different ways that people could be exposed to bacteria and in the case that we were talking about HIV. So you have to think about all the blood-borne diseases like hepatitis. So hepatitis, people, you know, everybody worries about HIV, but HIV is a, it's a virus that's not easily communica communicable, it's like it doesn't last long out on, on the countertop. Mm -hmm. Hepatitis C will last 72 hours on a, out on a countertop. So you're more at risk of getting hepatitis from these events than uh, HIV. However, it still can happen. Mm -hmm. So the, it's more the hepatitis B's, hepatitis C's, HIV's. But the fact that it came about. happened with HIV is yeah. really telling because it didn't have to be there for that long. Correct. So Correct. It wasn't cleaned. It wasn't kept up. So somewhere along that line, either the machine was dirty or they contaminated it during the processing. It was just a contamination problem mm -hmm. somewhere. Now, do you do the pro procedure in your practice? No, we do microneedling, but we don't do the PRP part because there's no real scientific evidence that says it helps. Mm -hmm. Now, if somebody was watching and they sort of been on the fence, they're not quite sure. What would you say? Uh, I would caution them against it. I mean, I, I really think that there's a lot of uh, social media driving this and not a lot of science driving it. Okay. All right. Well, good to know. Thank you for being here and sorting through fact from fiction. Thank you very much for having me. Right. Doctor, thanks so much. Once again, guys, back down to you. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Tracking rain. I know uh, we've, I think we're at the point where now we want to look ahead to maybe the drive home, people getting home from school. Just say what you really mean. Do you want to be done with the rain? Yes, yeah. I absolutely <laughs> want to be done with the rain. But are we going to be like, done with the rain? Like, like I don't know yeah. him well. All right, now look, uh, rain this afternoon is not great timing. It's not, look, it's a half an inch rain. It's not a lot. Yeah. It's enough, and it's not a, not a huge amount. The wind is not a big deal. It's got nor'easter-like characteristics. So not a big deal. It's the timing that's not great, 5 to 8 o'clock. We'll get that out of the way. Look at the high, only at 52. That's weak sauce. Should be near 70. 41 tonight. Again tomorrow with a couple of scattered showers. We finally break the pattern a bit. Wednesday, I know there's some rain for Thursday. I'm not convinced that's going to be a big deal, but look at the payoff. Tim, this is your weekend. Friday, Saturday, yes. Sunday. Temperatures in the low 70s, upper 60s. Ah, I think finally, that's good. seasonal temperatures exactly where we need to be. Just <laughs> lately, it's just been it's just been tough. In the first Friday since about 1989 <laughs> that hasn't had a rain on it. It's he's, amazing. He's not far from the truth. It's been about two months since since March that we had decent rain, decent weather on a Friday. So yeah. this will be nice. Listen, uh, if uh, this afternoon you want to lay out some uh, grass seed, go ahead. You could do that again for Wednesday before the rain on Thursday. Doris Day is going to play us out. We're going to miss her. Legend of dying at 97 last night. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.
accident that was not your fault and you don't have an attorney, don't go it alone. Take action. We have legal professionals standing by to help you and let you know what your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Paula Haddock here with spokesman Rob Wolf. So who at home should be calling in right now, Rob? Well, just like you said, Paula, anyone who's been injured in an accident that was not your fault and you do not have an attorney, call us right now. We're going to answer all of your questions and we'll let you know what your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Rob. Take action and call now. Looking for great family time adventures? Just shop at, at Lee's Auto and RV.com and shop over 200 camper travel trailers and RVs. Camping is fun for the whole family and affordable. Check out Lee's clear cut prices on all Cherokee travel trailers. Normally $31,488, now only $19,995. Own it for just $143 a month. Each one comes with a free apple pie to get the fun started. We make it easy to get credit at Lee's Auto and RV. Don't wait to fill your bucket list. Join these happy campers and start your Lee's RV adventure today. This season, there's a buzz here in the Bronx. Led by superstar slugger Aaron Judge. Drilled deep to center field. So much power in this lineup. And backed by the best bullpen in baseball. He got him! The Yankees are taking aim at a 28th title. This is so much fun to watch. Let's go! Watch Yankees baseball all season long. Stay big on Nissan's full lineup of SUVs during the summer of SUV sales events. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Ready for summer? Nissan is. You can't miss out during the summer of SUV sales event. All you need is a great camera, the right tunes, and a change of scenery. Save on it all at Nissan Summer of SUV Sales Event. Save up to forty-eight fifteen on Pathfinder, or get a low two twenty-nine per month lease on Murano. Hi folks, we're back. If you've been injured in an accident that was not your fault and you don't have an attorney, we have legal professionals standing by to let you know what your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Paula Haddock here with spokesman Rob Wolf. So Rob, please tell the viewers at home who should be calling in right now. Well, just like you said, Paula, anyone who's been injured in an accident, it was not your fault, you do not have an attorney, call us right now. We're going to let you know what your case is potentially worth. Thanks so much, Rob. Call now. Are you ready for some live girl chat? <laughs> Clearly we are. Let's do this. <laughs> this is live.